In this video, we're going to look at Spark's Smart View. With Smart View, what we're able to do, or what Spark is able to do, is group all of your different types of emails together. It'll group your notifications together, your newsletters together, and then your emails from different people together. This is available on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at this on the Mac. So I'm looking at Spark here and I have my email list. If we look, you're going to see that they are grouped. In other words, I have all of my different notifications here. So I have 19 emails that are notifications. I have my newsletters here. I have 14 emails that are newsletters. What about the email from individual, from people? I go up to the top, you're going to see I have people. So these are all the emails from people. So what it is doing is it's grouping these together. Now this makes it really easy to go through a group of emails. Let's say you wanted to look at your different newsletters. You don't want to have to worry about looking at your people or your notifications. Well, all you have to do is just go down to newsletters here. Right now it is showing you three newsletters. I'll show you how you can change that by default. If you want to view all of them, you just go down to view all. And now I'm viewing all of the different newsletters. So I'm able to go through these one by one without having to worry about going through my notifications or my emails from people. You're going to see the same thing on the iPad and iPhone. So if I look at my iPad here, I have people up here and then I have notifications. I want to view all of the notifications. I go down to view all 18 and then I have my newsletters. I have my pinned emails and then my seen emails. So it's grouping these all together. The iPhone has the same thing. We can see people at the top. We have my notifications and then we have my newsletters as well as pins and unread. So this is my favorite way of going through these emails. All I have to do is just go to that group and I can quickly go through them. I don't have to worry about deleting an email from an individual because I'm just looking at my newsletters here. Now, what happens if a newsletter or an email is categorized wrong? Let's say it's categorized as a newsletter or a notification and it should be something else. Well, what you need to do on the Mac, you can do this on the Mac only, what you'll need to do is go over and select the email. Let's just say this was a notification. I select it and then up at the top right, you're going to see it says newsletter. When I tap on newsletter here, what I'm able to do is change this to a notification or to people so I can recategorize it. And then the next time I get an email from this individual, it'll be in the correct category here. Now on the iPad and iPhone, we do not have that same feature, at least not from what I can find. Now I mentioned that we could set how many emails we see by default. You're going to see that I see three emails here by default. If I want to see all of the emails, I would click on view all 17. Well, let's say I wanted to change this to news. With newsletters, I only want to see two of the newsletters, my two latest newsletters. But with people, what I'd like to do is set it to where I see five. Well, what we need to do is go over to our preferences on the Mac. We go to the settings on the iPad and iPhone. So I go up to Spark, being I'm on my Mac, and then we go over to Preferences. Under Preferences, what we do is we go over to General, and under General, you're going to see Smart Inbox. I select it, and then from here, we can see all of the different types of categories. So with my notifications, let's say I just wanted to turn that off. I don't want to see that category. I can just deselect this and it will no longer show that category. The emails will still show, but they will not be categorized as notifications. But what I like to do with these is set how many emails I see. When I click on notifications, so these could be notifications from payments, receipts, things like that. They're not from individuals. They're not a newsletter. So I want to see those. We have visible emails. I want to see five of those. So now I'm going to see five of my latest notifications. But with newsletters, I really don't care to see all of my newsletters. Let's make this one down to two. So now I'm only going to see two of my newsletters. And then with people, what I would like to do is make this 10. We can also select which accounts are in there. So we just go and select how many we want to see in each one and 
And now with people, I would see 10 emails here if I had 10 emails from, from people. The notifications, you're going to see I have five emails from notifications. And then when we go to newsletters, I see two. So we can customize how many of those we want to see. Now, how do we do this on the iPad and iPhone? Well, with the iPad and iPhone, let's go to the iPad first. What we do is we go to settings down at the very bottom. And then what we need to do is go over to Smart Inbox. And under Smart Inbox, we have all of the same different types of categorizations. So I go to Notifications, and from here I can set how many I want to see. So we can do this with each one of our different categorizations. On the iPhone, we have the same thing. I go to the three horizontal lines at the top. I go to Settings at the bottom. And then we go to Smart Inbox. And from here, I'm able to set how many I want to see for each category. Now, the last thing I want to mention is when we go to our Smart Inbox, what we can do is we can change it to a classic view. The classic view is what we're used to in mail. It puts it in chronological order by when we receive the email. So when we're looking at my Mac here, you're going to see I have Smart and Classic. All I have to do is just click on Classic here, and now I'm seeing them in chronological view. So the last email I got is up at the top. Any earlier emails are going to be below that. I want to go back to my Smart View, which is what I like. I go to Smart. Now I'm looking at my smart view. On the iPad and iPhone, we have basically the same thing. Up at the very top, you're going to see on the iPad, I have Smart Inbox. I tap on the slider. It's now classic. I tap on the slider again. It's categorizing them. On the iPhone, same thing. Smart Inbox at the very top. Tap on the slider. Brings it to classic. Tap on the slider. Puts it back to my smart view. So that is our smart view in Spark. It's one of my favorite features with Spark and it's one of the features that drew me into Spark. I love being able to group all of my newsletters together. We get a lot of newsletters. Well, now they're all going to be grouped together and I could actually just go and delete all of them at one swipe. I can just go and select them all and delete them all if I wanted to. Or I can go through them individually and not have to worry about looking at a notification or an email from a person. So that is our smart view in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.